Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I wanted to give you a small update on the plans I have, what I have been up to in 2023 and what projects carry on in 2024. First of all, thank you guys for all your support. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for being part in the pre-sale period of my online course. In summer, I pre-released The Sound of the Violin, my new online video course. For those who know me a little bit longer, I had or I still have an old online course, which is called the intonation guide for violinists where i collected all my tips on how to play better in tune on the violin you can find all the courses on violinshortcuts.com by the way but now i wanted to do a big upgrade from the things i have learned from making my first online course and the things i got feedback for my first online course and i wanted to make that better in my second online course and also i wanted to go into a different topic on the violin which is kind of related to intonation as well but the topic overall will be the sound of the violin which includes the control of the bow in much detail because in my opinion the better you control your bow the better you will sound on the violin and the more options of different sounds you will have on the violin as well so i wanted to package this the sound of the violin course together with the other hand the vibrato exercises and the vibrato development on the violin so one half of the course which might be a little bit more than a half as well because it's a uh, much more complicated topic will be for the right arm the bow arm and the other half or the other part of it will be to develop wrist vibrato to develop an arm vibrato and exercises for the fingers as well flexibility and strengthen exercises and i take you through all this process of learning the vibrato finding the right arm position to enable a good vibrato and a nice wrist position and so on and also some advanced vibrato exercises so all of this is in the making or or partly already done. The part about the bow in my online course Sound of the Violin is close to finished. There are some videos I recorded in the past which I want to record again because I'm not satisfied with the outcome. Some of the videos are already edited, some are old, some I recorded new this summer and this autumn and some I still have to record and edit and finalize for you of course. For the vibrato part of the online course also some videos are already online. It's basically the foundation how to hold the violin how to hold your elbow how to hold your wrist and uh, some tips on how the fingers have to fall to enable a good vibrato that are the lessons which are already online but there are still a good amount of videos coming so the course is not finished i want it to be finished already in november but i really could not make so much time i really underestimated that amount of work i'm prioritizing of course the course videos the videos for the sound of the violin course because i have to and i want to finish this course as soon as possible so yeah, that you, the guys who bought the premium package with the lesson will have all the content of the course finalized and then can have their video lesson one-on-one -on -one with me if you want your video lesson beforehand you can have it at any time but of course it makes more sense to first work through the whole course and then come with questions to me personally the course is still not finished and therefore you still have the chance to jump on with a huge discount for the time the course isn't finished yet this will be an ongoing project i want to make this course really good really with useful information which is information i learned and i benefited from a lot in my violinistic career in my violinistic life this is also a reason why i so much believe into this online course thing because I think when I would have some of the information that I can give you now in my courses earlier in my life let's say when I was 18 or 20 or even earlier when I decided that I wanted to be a violinist this information is really really important to get a good sound on your violin to play in tune well on your violin it is not magic it is actually thinking about what you do and improving what you do through intelligent exercise. So that's the first big point I wanted to get out of the way. If there is a little bit of a break here on my YouTube channel, it is due to the fact that I'm working behind the scenes on violinshortcuts.com to finalize my course videos. And I have to prioritize that, but I know that my YouTube is the reason for everything else which exists from myself in the online uh, world so to say so i have big plans for my youtube channel as well but also some of those videos have to be 
taken a little bit back in the pipeline. For example, there's the reaction of the movement uh, number two of Two Set Violence live stream concert. I already recorded that and I also started editing that, but it's not finished yet. But I have to say, I think it is more important or more interesting for you guys as well to skip some of the movements. I think the third movement of the Bach double concerto would be left. I think this is not so interesting material to review because we already know they play it well and the piece is not that hard to play. I, I think I had some critiques, of course, in the critique of the first movement, but also I just noticed that it is quite up to standard. I think it is more interesting to look into the Paganini of Eddie playing it in the live concerto and then in my reaction videos go and watch other violinists and possibly also going into like professional professional violinists or some child prodigies like a uh, 12 year old kid uh, playing Beethoven violin concerto or Tchaikovsky violin concerto something like this I think this will be more interesting for you violinistically and I think overall it uh, is good to have some variation there and not just talk about Eddie and Brett all the time so so the reaction content will continue. I'm really looking forward to that because I enjoy making those videos a lot. I enjoy making most of my videos, but some videos of course are a little bit more free for me. Some videos I have to plan from beginning to the end, for example the course videos. So I really look forward to make this more casual content for you guys. I hope you look forward to that too. And we will see you in these videos, of course. Also, I have a string testing video coming up. The dynamo strings are on my violin now from until summer. And now it's roughly half a year. They are on my violin and they have reached their life cycle, I have to say. It's like uh, I, I really feel I have to put on new strings soon. Uh, still, I can uh, assure you these dynamo strings are amazing strings. Depending on the violin, you can maybe keep them on the violin much longer. Longer. But I think half a year can give me an overview on how the string will perform when it's fresh, when it's very well played in and when it's a little bit old already. And I will give you a whole video about that in the near future. Another big project which is very close to my heart is a cover song of the song Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden, a really famous song, a really uh, good song I think. It is very interesting to play that on the violin and I had someone cover that song with me and this someone plays the drums and his name is Simon Schröder, also a Simon, so he must be good. I'm just joking, but uh, he's really, really good. He's really, uh, I worked with him once in, in a theater where we played musicals and he was playing some of the shows and when I played with him, it was always, I noticed, yeah, there's some more kick into the whole drum set when he plays. I, I like that. I like drummers who have some powerful sound, a punchy sound, so to say. And he also makes YouTube now. He um, plays covers there and really, really amazing stuff, really crazy. Some of the songs I know and some of the songs are really, really tricky, but I could pursue him to play one of my cover songs with me. So I have a drum track from him and I played the bass and the guitars and the violin, of course. Some details are not finished yet. And also which, what is not finished yet in that regard is a video. And I wanted to make this song like this video style on YouTube, you know, of, of course it will be playback then, a little bit more dramatic. So not just me standing in my room here in my studio playing this. The drummer has also sent me a video playing the song in his room. I think this is nice and maybe I will post that also or I would release the audio only version, an audio only version at the same time when I launch this song on Spotify and so on, on the streaming services, so that you guys can hear the music and uh, listen to it. And then later when I get time, maybe in the summertime, I will make a real YouTube video, which I haven't got the time to because of the videos uh, that I have to make for my course, of course. So long story short, this cover will be coming out. If you guys vote for that in the comments, if you say, please release the audio first, I could release the song in a matter of weeks. If you guys tell me I should make a whole video ready and then release the song, then it can take a little bit longer. So this is uh, all what matters 
for my YouTube channel now. A little bit of a personal update uh, from me. Last year around this time I was actually quite sick without my knowing. I think I had a, a virus infection which uh, got a little bit to my liver and then um, yeah it was a little bit of a shock for me. So I started again lifting, working out, going to the gym quite regularly and uh, getting my health back up. And from that moment on everything went uphill. 2023 was a very exciting year for me with a lot of positive things happening. Releasing also, if it's just the pre-release, releasing my second online course is a dream of mine and a thing I wanted to do for years and years. But during the last years, there was so much going on in my personal life and so much stress and hurtful things happened. Uh, so that I really uh, had a hard time keeping myself up and I kept myself up and now I'm a little bit more free with my time and I'm very excited to approach these projects now. I hope you guys had a very nice Christmas time. I wish you guys a happy new year. I, I hope that 2024 will be a good year in, in the broadest sense of what you can think about it. I, I hope that uh, we don't have to deal with too many bad news in 2024. And if so, I mean, we are all used to bad news. I hope the bad news will be equaled out by some good news as well, that we can cope with the bad news better. That is my hope for 2024. Might be a little bit of a humble lookout, but honestly, I'm very positive and I'm really looking forward to the next steps, the next videos, finishing my online course, finishing the cover songs and getting back to the reaction videos and getting back to string testing videos as well. So that's it. Check out violinshortcuts.com. You will still get a pre-sale discount on my new Sound of the Violin course until the course is 100% finished. See you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. Thank you for everything and have fun practicing. Bye bye.